Hello YouTube! Um, another commentary video. I felt like doing something a little different. And I've kind of been on a superhero mood right now, so... And who isn't a fan of the Joker? So, I'm going to be counting down my top five Joker portrayals. So, who's the best clown prince of crime? Let's delve into my top five picks and find out. Number five. Jack Nicholson from the 1989 Batman film. Jack is dead, my friend. You can call me Joker. And as you can see, I'm a lot happier. Ah, uh, yes. The man that started it all. Nicholson's role will forever be remembered for the movie's first attempt to make the Dark Knight story darker. And unlike any other Joker backgrounds, he actually has an alter ego, a gangster named Jack Napier who's betrayed by a greedy crime lord. Jack Nicholson's dark and grinning Mr. J will be etched in the minds of many Batman fans for years to come. That looked like it really hurt. Unlike most voices for the Joker, John DiMaggio gives us a different set of vocals we often think the Joker might have. His voice is deep, slow, and creepy. Normally we wouldn't think of the Clown Prince of Crime with a deep voice, but with a gleefully high, carefree, and yet menacing tone. DiMaggio gives us a refreshing take on this iconic Batman villain. I'm going to need something to wear in a very big truck. Sure. Anything else? I'll need some guys. Not these guys, because, well, they're kind of dead. <laughs> Number three, Scott McClure from the Joker Blogs web series. This is a lesser-known series, but it's slowly gaining popularity. This man is a genius because of his near fall as Heath Ledger impersonation. Ledger's not an easy act to follow, and even though he does a great impression, McClure also seems to make the character his own as well, which is no small feat. His sadistic personality is upped in this series, and I urge you to watch it on YouTube if you haven't already. The acting, sets, Casting and story are exceptional. Because when I was a kid, I used to love to go fishing at camp. But I never could get those little worms on the hook. Oh, God. Oh, that's not the sad part. No. So one day, these bullies decide to show me how it's done. And they take the fishing rods and they take me out to the end of the dock and they stick hooks in my mouth. Right there. And then they push me into the water. And reel me back in. Just like a fish. You know what I did then? I burned their cabin down. While they slept. And they roasted up. And I never did have any problems with those little worms again. Let me show you. Number two, Heath Ledger from The Dark Knight. Oh, never start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. He can't feel the neck. See? I can guess what you might be thinking. Why is he number two? Why isn't he number one? He is an amazing joker, am I right? So why is he number one? Well, it'll be explained when my number one pick is revealed. Don't get me wrong, Ledger was an awesome Joker. A Joker that actually seemed genuinely creepy and insane. He portrayed the Joker like he was meant to be portrayed, a maniacal psychopath bent on his own crazy whims. He sadly passed away while shooting the Dark Knight, and I believe no one will ever come up to par again. Even Jack Nicholson himself warned Ledger of the Joker role, as he said the part consumed him entirely. 
Even though his performance was debatably his best, we'll all wish Ledger would have listened to Nicholson's wise warning. How about a magic trick? I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. Ta-da! It's... it's gone. Number one. Mark Hamill from Batman the Animated Series. <laughs> Great Scott! Yeah, I know this isn't who you were expecting, and while I love Ledger's performance as the Joker, I still cling to Mark Hamill because I grew up with hearing him as the Joker. He's nostalgic for me. I grew up hearing his laughter as the Joker, and I probably will continue to hold him in such high esteem as I do now. He's the only voice that can truly be considered the Joker for me. He even went on to reprise his role as the Joker in Justice League the Animated Series and the new Arkham Asylum games. Even his popular role as Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars movies seemed to pale in comparison with his vocal genius. Sadly, Mark Hamill has recently stated that he will no longer be continuing his Joker character, but he will not be forgotten by his many fans. And to all the Ledger fans out there, I do love his dark portrayal as well. So I apologize if I didn't give him enough credit where credit is due. Heath Ledger is an excellent Joker, and he won't let anyone tell him otherwise. But you just can't beat the classic for me. <laughs> let the good times roll!